Hey everybody, this is Brent Bristow back with you for Resin Maniacs for another out of the box review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the new Vampire Kit produced by Garage Kit US, which is of course run by Jesse Garcia. And Jesse produces a great set of paints as well as some wonderful models. And so I'm excited to share this model with you. I have looked at it a little bit already. First thing I wanted to share is that uh, he did include this picture on the outside of the box. Uh, he posted on his Facebook page a few days before Wonderfest that this was sort of the quick and dirty artwork. But this is actually a really good addition because this is an accurate picture of Mela Nermi as Vampyra. She created and portrayed the character. And this is a nice reference to have. It actually uh, gives you an idea of what accurately this character should look like. So this is a really great addition here and I like that he put this on the box. So I've already removed the shrink wrap and it's in three parts. First of all, the base. I'm gonna start with looking at the base. Very ornate looking base. Now, this is made in such a way that you could just, if you wanted to just paint it a black or a metallic or whatever, it would look great. If you want to take the time to paint all the individual jewels and everything um, and the skulls, then it would give it even more detail and it really complements the uh, bust itself very well. Looking at it, in the actual detail work, there's not really any seams to be had. I can see that around this area there are some right on the bottom, so they're very well hidden. It's not going to take a lot of work to get rid of that. And it's in places that you're mostly not going to see anyway. So this is very well casted. Um, the top looks like it's going to not require a lot of work, maybe flatten out this with a Dremel. Not a big deal. And um, yeah, very nice, very ornate, very detailed base. So it's also very sturdy, has a lot of weight to it as well. Moving on to the actual bust itself. This is a one-third scale bust and um, was kind of curious. I wanted to compare it to this one-fourth scale. And looking at it, you know, this really kind of looks like it might be a little bigger than one-third. It's not quite one-half, but I'd say that it's more close to one-half than it is uh, one-fourth for sure. So yeah, very large piece there. Uh, looking at it a little closely, in the face, everything looks really smooth and really well casted. Of course, this was sculpted by Jim Maddox. Uh, the likeness very well done and he managed to you know capture the smoothness of her face but at the same time still give a lot of details for shading and highlighting uh, the casting on it I don't see anything in the face that you're gonna have to deal with nothing that is going to require putty or sanding or anything like that in the actual skin so that looks great uh, predictably there are some seam lines in the hair you can see that runs across and up over this way but that's not going to require a ton of work to do and fortunately it's hidden in the hair much better to be in the hair than in the skin and then it looks like it goes down and around this area very easily fixed on the bottom there is of course the actual plug where it looks like the resin was poured in and you're not even going to really see that so that's not a big deal the only thing that you would want to do is smooth that out a little bit particularly on the inside so that it fits onto the base much better so putting this on the base, it fits on very well, and after you sand down that plug, it'll go on even better and be a little more flush. Um, everything works together very well, I think, and is a nice solid piece. So uh, I know that this piece was a little pricey at $195, but it is a rather large, impressive piece, so you, you know, you're getting what you pay for there. Also included, the last piece, is the right hand and the right hand attaches you can see it has places that are keyed in so that the hand actually goes on the bust into this pose and uh, just adds a little more detail a little more um, depth to the model itself now there is going to be a lot of cleanup predictably between the fingers but that's pretty common um, looking at mine it looks like there's some flashing there that's very easily removed little sanding filing and fortunately you have plenty of space in between there to get in and clean that up but what I'm really impressed by is the detail in the hand with all the veins and everything and even on the inside of the hand even though you're not going to see most of it they did go to the trouble of actually sculpting and casting the palm on that 
So there are a lot of details there. And you have to be careful with these uh, fingernails when you're opening the kit and putting everything together. Make sure you don't let any of those break. But overall, a really nice addition to this kit, I think. All right, so if you're interested in this kit, you can pick it up from Jesse Garcia at garagekituscolors.com. And also, as an added bonus, on his site, he has not one, but two tutorials on how to paint this. One of them is by Saul Alvarez, and then he also has one with grayscale paint by Jim Capone. And both of those guys are great painters that you can learn a lot from, and I definitely suggest you go and check those out. So not only can you get the kit, but you can also get some great advice on how to paint it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been Brent Bristow for Resin Maniacs.